Hello gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. And I was asked by um, one of the viewers to review this game called Reactor. Um, there's a few versions of it out there, some older versions, but this is a new one, newish one for mobile. Uh, and the user was uh, GN Wilders, uh, <laughs> the one that made the comment to review this game. So it's a uh, kind of a clicker, idle type game where you build, you build uh, energy production buildings, and then you collect the energy and sell it off for dollars. So you start off with kind of wind turbines. Here's the build menu, and then you can upgrade later to solar panels and coal burners and gas burners and and reactors. And it gets there's more and more. Uh, larger buildings that can produce power and then you can upgrade them um, using money that you've collected to produce more power or more research and then there's research uh, you need to unlock new buildings using research so the the main goal is to research all the items in the game that's kind of how you can end or win the game so to speak Here's some of the other menus. You can see the stats of each thing that you can build. And on mobile, there's there's one issue sometimes when you're when you're trying to press on an item, it doesn't always work. So you might have to like double press a few times to get something built. And then once you've done all the research you can prestige like a lot of the idle games which starts you off again from the beginning with a four times bonus in these three things power plant earnings generator efficiency and office efficiency and when I recorded this video I had already gone through the game once so I'm playing on prestige level one so to get started you build uh, you start off with a couple dollars it shows more here for me but you start off with two dollars so you can build two windmills and then they'll generate some power and then you gotta sell it using the button in the top right the power to dollar kind of menu so you accumulate some money and then the next thing you want to do is uh, research go into the research tab well there's just free gifts that kind of pop up occasionally but you gotta go into I'm going to build a few turbines here first. You'll only be able to build two on the first round until you accumulate more money. But once you have a, you've collected a few, a little bit of money, you can build more. And then you want to research, go into the research tab, which is looks like a little blue beaker. And in there, you can research the research center, which we'll do in a sec here. So there it is. So I've unlocked research center, and I want to build maybe. Well, you can probably only afford to build one at, to start, but then eventually you want to build maybe ten or fifteen of them. And you can see the research points are starting to tick up now. We got five research points. And you'll need um, you'll need research points to get the next building, which is going to be probably the office, which automatically sells your power for you, so you don't have to click that power to dollar menu over and over. And you'll notice you'll have to click your turbines again to get them rebuilt. There is a research you can up. Uh, unlock that automatically rebuilds your or restarts I guess rebuys your tur turbines for you so that's kind of handy so you don't have to sit there clicking them over and over so it takes 500 research to get this to buy the, or research the office so while I'm waiting for that to kind of accumulate explain a few other things so there's a there's this dragon ogopogo looking thing which you can click on and it allows you to spend money to get certain upgrades. 
So I usually just ignore that because I don't I don't spend money on this game. Uh, you can get through the whole game without spending any real money. It uh, it'll speed things up, and if you want to kind of support the developer, I encourage it. But you don't need to do it to get through the whole game. And then there's another purple octopus looking thing to the right, which every 15 minutes it'll allow you to buy an upgrade, which will increase the effectiveness of your office by 5%. And you can either spend real money, uh, actually you can spend in-game money, um, and it's pretty cheap to start, so you can use in-game money, or you can watch an ad. Later on in the game, uh, once that octopus thing gets to level 10 or so, uh, it gets really expensive, so you can just watch a video ad instead. Or just wait till you have enough money. 700 research points now, I can unlock the office, which automatically sells power. So there, done it. The next thing up after that is the solar panel, which produces more power. We'll save that for a bit here. So you want to get some offices built, and then you won't have to click that energy to dollar button anymore. It'll just automatically sell it for you. So I'm producing 96 energy per second, and I'm able to sell 80 per second, so I still need to build a few more offices. There we go. So I don't really need it, but I'm going to unlock the battery here using 250 resource points. And then build one, and I just want to show you some of the, these clouded areas around the main map area. You can unlock later on. Some of them are uh, pretty expensive. Like A, B is basically like uh, very, very expensive. Basically, it goes billion, trillion, and then A, A is like quadrillion. A, B is like quintillion. I'm not quite sure why they use those naming conventions, but the cheapest one is one million. So once you hit a million dollars, you can unlock the one of those clouded areas and there's one to the north that's kind of square that one requires real money to to buy but you don't need it to finish the game to get the uh, research points we need for the solar panel quicker i'm going to do a, i'm going to upgrade the research center here uh to level up a couple of levels since it's fairly cheap so now we have enough uh, research points to unlock the solar panel and the solar panel manager which will automatically renew the panels as you build them. So I'm going to delete some of my windmills to make room for the solar panel. And I'm actually going to build a panel without a generator just to show you. See it explodes and the game gives you this little tip it's telling you you need to build the generators uh, adjacent to the solar panel before. We don't need four in this case um, since the generator has been upgraded and it it only requires one to suck up the heat produced by the generator or by the solar panel. So we'll build this a generator first. And it it's able to handle 40 heat and the panel puts out 40 heat, so we'll build a panel right beside it. And now we're generating power. And once the solar panel gets status bar goes all down all the way it'll kind of self-renew. So I skipped ahead a bit and built a few more solar panels and generators and that'll increase my income and now we just gonna need to wait for enough research points to uh, do the coal generator. So I went offline for a bit for three hours and then accumulated some research and some money and then I built um, Unlocked the, the coal and gas power producers that you can see here. The brown one's the coal, and the kind of light one is uh, the gas one. And now I'm uh, deleting all my research centers because I upgraded to the, the newer, higher version of the research center. So this is kind of a common theme in the game. You get the upgraded version, but you have limited space, so you go through and just delete stuff make room and replace it with the better version. There is a nice thing you can do. You can hold down long press 
and then basically either paint on or paint off uh, buildings. I'm doing them one at a time here, but it makes it really handy to delete to delete uh, many buildings at once. And the game just kind of from here on out, basically you 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 know upgrade to the next version of power plant. You or unlock the research for the new power plants. You upgrade your generators, your offices, and your research centers, and you just progress. It's pretty much uh, the same thing. It's just the kind of the art changes for for each building, making sure you kind of balance um, research point in coming in with income. So your kind of your your map may look something like a third reach research centers, a third power producing, and about a third uh, offices. And this should keep you kind of keep the money flowing in, keep the research flowing in, and making sure that you don't go into the red like this, where you're not selling enough power. You always want to have enough offices to automatically sell your power. And then occasionally you'll find that you can't really progress to the next thing either through research or upgrades and then you just kind of have to go offline for an hour or two and then come back and you'll have enough. The things are pretty much the same from here on out. It's just using higher and higher level buildings. I fast forwarded the footage up uh, five, 500%. So it was about, uh, I don't know, three or four hours of footage and I've crunched it down here. So I'll just, uh, you can just let it play out. I'll put a link in the description to some of the key points in the video. So in like 15 minutes or so after this, it will, I'll get to the, essentially the end of the game where all the research is unlocked. And some commentary for after that point.
want to slow down and show you one interesting thing here that I found. I'm pretty sure it's a bug, but see these uh, two offices here? I've been able to build them on top of trees. I kind of sent an email to the developer asking him about that, and he said it definitely is a bug. I'm not sure why it's just these two trees and not all trees, or but it's kind of a neat little quirk. Uh, I haven't found, I tried to find other tiles that were like this, but I could only find these two. Let me know in a comment if you find uh, any other tiles, or maybe there's a way to trigger these trees to become buildable. I couldn't, I couldn't figure it away, but I thought it was pretty cool. I thought maybe it was like, if you use really dirty energy produ production, it causes the trees to die or something. But it's nothing intentional like that, it's just a bug. But pretty cool, thought I'd show you it. things down a bit just to show you um, kind of the end I don't know if you would call it the end of the game but it's when all the research has been unlocked so this is kind of what the map looks like near the end I haven't built all the stuff yet but I've built almost all the advanced buildings there's a higher version of the office than this so here we go big bank Gonna unlock dark energy reactor, unlock and dark energy manager. Ta-da, ta you've done it all. So at this point you can prestige and restart from the beginning. But I kind of went ahead and I wanted to build the dark energy reactor. So I just kept going and I'll I'll fast forward through the last bit until I'm able to build that final building. And then I'll show how I finally prestige for the it's the second time.
Here I am several hours in the future and I had to let the game run overnight in order to afford the dark energy reactor. So in a few seconds here, we'll go back to normal speed. Things get really expensive. It took a while to earn enough money to build one dark energy reactor. So here you can see I waited overnight nine hours collected 86 AE of money and I'm gonna go either I've built it or I'm gonna build the uh, one dark energy reactor actually capture the building of it on uh, in a recording but I captured it after it was built so there it is dark energy reactor producing tons of tons of heat I guess it's 20 AD of heat it takes four ultra generators to capture it all so this is where I kind of ended up doing the prestige because I had done everything I guess that was possible that I knew about so let me know if you like this video um, please give it a thumbs up if you did let me know if you want to see any more stuff about this game. I also wrote quite a bit uh, of a guide in the description of the video, so check that out. And then under the menu here, you can see the prestige menu. So here we go. I'm going to actually do it. And kind of start from the beginning. Yeah, so don't forget to uh, subscribe if you want to get alerted on future videos. I do kind of reviews and playthroughs of mobile games and other games. So, oh, here we go. Here's the prestige. Boom. Back to the beginning. Okay. Thanks for watching.